Any questions you guys have or? Um, not really. No? Well, okay. Do you want to pick something up? kind of looking right now. Cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Take your time. Relax. It's all free. So do you guys believe Jesus is a prophet? Yes. So as Muslims, we believe that Jesus was born to a Virgin Mary, a miraculous birth, no doubt to that. And he was sent as a righteous slave of Allah, like all other prophets before him. But some people have this idea that he's the physical son of God. And I think this is something that's been lost in translation. Um, let me let me show you from the Bible real quick. So, if you look, um, I have a few different versions. What do you read? King James. This is the King James. So, let's take a look at this. Um, just to first. So, King James version, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you look at here, um, in Exodus, four. Verse 22, thus you shall say to Pharaoh that thus says the Lord of Israel is Israel is my son, my firstborn. Israel is a reference to Jacob. So here you see Jacob being called in the Old Testament this is before the time of Jesus, my son, right? If you look in the same Bible, if you keep going in 2 Samuel uh, 6, 23, you will find therefore Michelle, the daughter of Saul, had no choice. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Uh, he shall build a house for my name, which is Solomon, and I shall establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. He's talking about Jesus. This is for in the Old Testament. Do you yeah. see any mention of Jesus here? Like this is David. No, like he mentioned it Go was ahead. his son. Right. His so son. this is David, and then the son of David, I believe, was Solomon, right? I believe so. Okay. So then, here in the Psalms of David, this is about David, right? The Psalms of David. Mm -hmm. So David then says to that I will decree I will declare the decree the Lord has said to me to David you are my son today I have begotten you I mean like we're all children of God Okay excellent so 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 I agree with you there so I mean we don't believe we're physical children but linguistically in some languages child can mean a term of endearment like Ephraim here in the Bible you know for I am a father to Israel and Ephraim is my firstborn, right? Have you read the New Testament? Yes, yes, it's here as well. So the point being, if we look at Adam in the genealogy in Luke in the New Testament, he's also called the son of God. Yeah, I mean, right? and he's, God also says we are all are the children of excellent. God. Excellent. So, the, so you know, there's sons and there's daughters. Okay, okay so, excellent. So, yeah. so the issue there is then, what is the difference between Jesus, peace be upon him, and the rest of us in the term of endearment, that's fine. But not a physical son, like like physically the son of God. Because if you if you say like from the Bible, then we would say in the Bible the word son has been used repeatedly as a term of endearment, not physical relationship. Okay, so in the New Testament, you mm -hmm. know, when Moses and Elijah showed up when Jesus was praying, God himself even spoke and he said, This is my sure. my son. Okay, but, but I mean, I just showed you repeatedly where God calls other people my son, but you don't believe they're physical sons, right? You, you just said that's just as we're all children. All children of God. Okay, so excellent. Sense. But one thing that makes him different from yes. the rest of us is that... The virgin birth. The virgin excellent, birth. okay, okay. And he was born through the Holy Spirit. Does okay, so, so... So he doesn't have... He's half man and half the Spirit of God. That's why he's... He's half man, half God, like Zeus kind of a thing? No. No. So I'm, okay, no, so, so, wait, so let's take know, one point have, at a time. People okay. have like, Go ahead. have two genes, like your mom's genes and your dad's okay. genes to make you, right? So, so Jesus had his mom's genes and then... So you're saying physically, Spirit. genetically, God's genes were inserted into Mary? Yes, the Holy Spirit. Wow, that's pretty... It says that. <laughs> it says physically the genes were inserted? I, I don't think that's anywhere well, in the... Physically, the supernaturally, Spirit. obviously. Yeah, but, but you're saying it take, you're taking it to a genetic level where like, the genes of God were fused like a father and a mother. The Word of God. That's the so, so genetically, is he Gen from God? Gen genetically, technically, yes, because you, yeah. need the, you, okay, need so the you're, you're, you need the genetics to have the human being. Wow. And that shouldn't be crazy. That, that's God pretty crazy, to be honest with you. I know, but God doesn't have intercourse or, or infuse no, his... No, 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 that's, that's, no, no. that's the point through, of being through the holy, oh, Through the Holy Spirit, uh, I don't believe, I do believe he was born with no father. But in Islamically, when Allah, God orders it, it is. Yeah. But I don't believe it was genetically 
genes from God that impregnated Mary and he's not half man, half God. If you, if you say that the proof of him being the son of God physically, unlike the others mentioned here, is the fact that Mary had no husband, then I would say, what about Adam and Eve? Adam had no father or mother. Wouldn't he be the elder son of God? He's called the son of God in the Bible. No, why not? Because you defy your own logic there, right? Because you're saying, due to the virgin birth of Mary, he's the physical God and the rest of the references are metaphorical, right? Okay, so but but let me just let me just so, so so I'm just saying I just want to make sure we're on the same page, right? So if, if you say you that my words when I'm no no I'm not I'm just trying to yeah. understand and use the same principle okay. repeatedly. So if you say that's the reason, then I would ask you, who was the father and mother of Adam? Because if he had God. no father, oh, God okay, created Adam okay. From the dust. So Adam created. is also the son of God. We're all the children of God, so which means I am the daughter of God. What so, makes Jesus different from us uh -huh. is that he has, he's half human from his mother, okay. Mary, and half the Holy Spirit. He spoke the word of God. And Excellent. He told her he was gonna, she was gonna be pregnant. Sure. He was gonna be, his name was gonna be Emmanuel. Sure. Jesus. But the know? question gets to be, where did you get the idea that that's from the genetics, from the fact that he didn't have a father, right? Yeah, because it says that the okay. Holy Spirit so I'm, will come up excellent. to you and then you get pregnant. But, but what I'm saying is, yeah. in the same logic that you're using, Adam had no father and no mother, yeah. and the Word of God, cre He created Adam, and He's called him His son. So in that logic, then Adam is the older brother of Jesus. Because he's born first, right? No, because, no, because, because God, says that he, God, God says that He is, I mean, not God. Well, Jesus is God. Jesus is God. I'm sorry, Jesus is God? Jesus is God. I thought He was the Son of God. He, he is, is the, the son, son of God. God, but at the same time, he's God. He's the son of how, God. He's the son wait, of God. Wait, I'm sorry. Flesh, I'm sorry. But he, you, you, he you, is the spirit of God. First thing, first thing, you, you didn't respond. I, I didn't understand your response. I want to understand okay, about so why Adam is not the older brother. If he had no father, he was also called the son of God in the Bible, and he was miraculously born without a father or mother. But you don't consider him a physical. He's not miraculously born. Why not? I think I think being born he with says, nothing before him is yeah, pretty miraculous. Well, like the way God created Adam and mm -hmm. Eve was. That Pretty miraculous. He, he created them from the dust. He literally made that, them hands. Is that, is that, breath and life into them. Does excellent, that make sense? excellent. That does, but that is pretty miraculous. That yeah, is, that, that, excellent. So what I'm saying is, why do you use a different standard about the miraculous birth of Jesus and a different standard for the miraculous birth of Adam? You consider Jesus genetically the Son of God, even though there's no, I there's no reference. The I think the confusion, oh, no, no, but what I'm saying is, in the Bible, can you show me? where it mentions that he's genetically the son of God. Oh, I can show you. Sure. Was it in Matthew whenever... Um, uh, you can look I, it up I, if I you like. I don't remember exactly, but... Um, right. I was just going to say, I think the confusion is coming between like... I think you guys I'm not misinterpreted... Really good at, like, it's okay. I, yeah, Take yeah, your, your time. I, th I think you no, guys it's not about words. misinterpreted like the... You're, 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 my, my interpretation of what you're taking us or what you're uh, like getting from us is that we think that Jesus is only the Son of God, but He is not God. But we, we're, we're Christians, okay. So, yeah. so we believe that Jesus so, is God, and He's also, but He's, so He's the same being in three different forms. Is what okay. So, so let me, let me, let me try to understand this, if you don't mind. Uh -huh. So, you're saying Jesus is three people in one, or He's no, a God is three people. God is three people in one. Okay. Well, He's He's, so, one, he's one being in three different forms. Is what I'm saying. What are those three forms? The, Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is God Himself. Yes, it's a. It, yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So God is God. Uh -huh. So when Old Testament, when God spoke, that was Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit together. Yes, it's all one being. Okay. But it's in three different forms. Just like. Oh, so, 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 so before for, for Jesus example, was born, was there a Jesus or no? Yes, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus okay. Is, Jesus is and always and okay. always was. He always. So, before, so, so there were time. two God or three. There was a Holy Spirit. No, there's only one God, but he he puts himself in different forms. Okay, I have a son. Right. Okay. Uh huh. But me and my son are not the same. Yeah, but right. Right. But you're also yeah. Okay. Not, okay. I'm, I'm God, just trying to understand the yeah. concept. Right. I, right. I'm not God. So, in the Old Testament, when David says God is one, right, mm -hmm. then he's referring to one God or three gods. He's referring to one God. So there were no three. Okay. It's God can Matthew's God can put himself into different forms. <laughs> let, me, let me try no, no, to put wait, this into context. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just example. trying to understand the math first. Yeah. yeah. So you're yeah, saying no, you're, you're, this is pretty cool that we can I, talk. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Let, 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 let me just I'm, try to put it into perspective for you. Like I want to listen to you. For, yeah. For example, like 
when Moses talked to God through the burning bush. Okay. The burning bush was God in a different form. I don't believe that, but okay. Okay, how do you how how would sure. you how would so, you say the burning so bush is? First thing is, is first thing is when God sends us signs, that doesn't mean that's physically God himself. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when God spoke to Moses, he spoke to him directly as well, as we believe in the Quran. Right. He also sent him signs. Okay? But that doesn't mean that you, you take that sign and you physically infuse them with God. Okay? For example, Moses spoke to the people of Israel of what God had told him. He brought that message. Okay? But that doesn't mean Moses is God. Okay? Right. So to us as Muslims, there's only one God. Right. He's not three, not two, not five, not divisible, right. one That's creator. We, yeah, we only believe in one Excellent. creator. Excellent. Okay, okay. Yeah. So now, now we're on the same page yeah. here. Okay, let's, but, let's see if we can... Wait, wait, wait. I think we have to define the nature of God first okay. of all, because we're thinking of two different versions of God right now. Okay, excellent. So now how will we understand the nature of God? Well, to be God, in order to be God, you have to be perfect. You have to be self-sustaining self, self self -sustaining without yes. the need of anything, right? We are... Can I, can I yeah. pound you? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> all right, so cool. In order, says, this is my son, my beloved son, and who am I? Okay, so, so let me... Do you want to continue this first or do you want to... Cause I, no, I want, you asked me earlier. So okay, so let, let's yeah. go back yeah, to no this problem. and we'll get yeah, back no to yours. Excellent. And, and again, I want to give... This is a respectful conversation. Yeah, I really course. appreciate yeah. the fact no how you were talking. Yeah. So, so I'm sorry. Go ahead. Which verse are we talking about here? It's now, two, number five? Two. Yeah, you know, when Moses and um, Elijah came down, while they were talking to Jesus, okay. and God said Behold, himself. Moses and Elijah appeared to them, uh, talking with them. Then Peter answered and said to Jesus, Lord, uh, it is good for us to be here if you wish let us make uh, there three tabriances uh one for you one for moses like one for statue. elijah yeah. what is it like it means like a statue should we make a statue oh, okay that's why he was asking okay while he was still speaking behold uh, a bright cloud overshadowed them and suddenly a voice came out of the cloud saying this is my beloved son in whom i will well in whom i am well pleased hear him okay but but this again is just calling Jesus a son. Nothing about biologics, genetics, none of that, right? Just like that, Adam is also called the son of God. Ephraim is also called the son of God. David is also called the son of God. Solomon is also called the son of God. Did you read like the background before yeah. you actually found where the Yes, yes. I, I, I studied the Bible cover to cover in yeah. Bible studies. If you want to go to Horizon Church yeah. off of Balboa and Genesee, I used to go there as a teenager. We, we, we had Bible studies every Wednesday. So it's not like I'm just picking a verse. But what I'm saying is, this doesn't mention anything of what you said about genetics. This is again a term of endearment, just like earlier. And the, the double standard here is when I mentioned the earlier verses, you said, well, we're all the children of God in that sense. But here, when there is nothing about genetics either, it's just calling him the son of God, just like the earlier verses, you're saying this is a physic. Genetically, he's half God, right? Well, and the okay, fact so that he... Let I'm, me just finish. Okay, ahead, Thank yeah, you so much. Ahead, so the fact that he had no father, we agree with you, but that's just the order of God. God can do anything. That doesn't mean he physically put his genetics into Mary through the Holy Spirit or any other way. And just like he miraculously gave birth to Adam without a father or mother, his word, he, who was created by the order of God, doesn't mean he put his genetics into Adam. When he had Eve, when he had Eve created from the rib of Adam, again, God had it ordered. It was miraculous. Regularly, people aren't created from each other, but again, it doesn't make him make her the daughter of God. Other than if you mean in a term of endearment in a particular language, I could definitely understand that. No, I read it like in different spots. So even like, sure. you know, you know Gabriel came down go to for talk it. to. Um, um, you Google it, look it up, yeah. show it to me okay. so we can discuss. Yeah. And in the meanwhile, do you want to go back to your... Yeah, what... what okay. Yeah, well, so, so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'll remember, don't worry. So, we believe God is one, uh -huh. clearly yeah. one, right? And in the Old Testament, when God speaks, I believe you also believe that God was one, right? He, like, like David didn't say your Lord is three, he said he's one, right? Yeah, there's only one God. Okay, excellent. And God is self-sufficient. He cannot be harmed. He doesn't get tired. He doesn't get hungry, right? Mm -hmm. We all agree. God he doesn't get exhausted. Yeah. Excellent. So Jesus, if he's God, then how was he tortured and killed? And how did he become? How did he tell his own father? Why have you forsaken me? That was, you see? that was actually to prove the Jews because they knew the okay. Old Testament from back, back to front. You know what I mean? So, and there was a verse. I'm, I'm not sure what it was from mm -hmm. the Old Testament to show them that, you know, like, I, I don't know, my words, I <laughs> Your words are excellent. It's, it's, it's not your words. It's not your words. Trust me, you both anything. are very eloquent. 
<laughs> I'm serious, right? And you were very respectful and I love this conversation. It's not the words. It's the concept that doesn't make sense that you're trying to justify, right? No, let I'm me not... let me just let me just Hold explain. On, me oh, go ahead, please. Go ahead. I, I wasn't done. You okay, know? I'm but listening. When he said that, it was in like he wasn't saying it like um, in a sad way where he's like, "Oh, you're forsaking me." But he's trying. He Sounds pretty sad. The exact same verse, if you take it, it's in the Old Testament. He's trying to really. Yes. Can you look that up for me? Because I haven't. Where is it? Okay, I you, you can look it up. Like the other day. So. So let me understand, and please, if you if you have more to say, I'm just gonna listen first. Say, so God being tortured and saying you have forsaken me was to prove to the Jews that he is being forsaken by his own father slash himself. Yeah, because yeah, that make that would make no sense, right? Yeah. The, the, the old, the old um, pretty sure like in the in the Isaiah, Isaiah, I don't remember the exact verse, yeah, Isaiah 14 something. Um, they had predictions of the birth of the Son of, of God and they, okay. and they talk about it, him being born in a, in a, from a lowly people in a manger. Okay. And then Jesus was born out of the Jewish people, which at that time were the lowest well, people of, of... But how does that justify him saying, Father, you have forsaken me? It's just fulfilling me. prophecy. That's all yeah, I was saying. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That was the word I, I, I was can you, for. Can you show me that prophecy? Because because what I'm having... A, a, I'm trying to find it, look, but it's enough. I'm not trying to put you pressure on you. If you like, if you like, look it up next Sunday. I'll be here. Come back and we'll, we'll continue the discussion. I appreciate the, the, the discussion. Let me introduce you to an idea that we have, okay? That we believe... Go ahead. I actually grew up in Ethiopia. Excellent. And, um, my neighbors were Muslim. My best Great. friend was Muslim. Nice. I actually read the Quran too when I was younger. Excellent. Even I was still a Christian. Right, right. And I read the Bible and I'm Muslim, so that's yeah, okay. See, so um, I grew up in that kind of environment. Okay. And I knew, like, you know, the Quran, and I, did, I don't agree with it. Especially okay. the fact that how God lied to humans. And sure. I believe that God is perfect. So could I He's could still, I ask for a reference for where God lied to for humans? For example, like when, you know, Mm -hmm. You guys think Jesus is a prophet? Yes. Right? He lied about so, the sun. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, let me let me just yeah. listen he to him. He lied about that. Jesus being hung, but instead of Jesus, he hung somebody else to trick them. W where is that in the Quran? I, where, I, don't, I don't remember know. the verse exactly. Yeah. Can you find it for me? Yeah. Next Sunday? I, I'll, yeah. I can I'll find that. Yeah. I can find that right so, now. But yeah. I, so God never lies. Never right. lies. Never lies. We we right. totally agree with there. Yeah. Okay. God does not order the killing of, of, of massacre of towns and villages and ox and sheep, right? Do we agree? Yeah, that was, yeah. That was what? So in the Old Testament, we didn't kill people to eat them. God said, eat all the fruits except the apple, right? In the beginning. Okay. And then, like, yeah, the, except the, yeah, for the forbidden fruit. Okay, then, how are you, you know, doing? Like we started eating just wanted to animals let you know, and stuff, I think and then in the New Testament, God said, just pray over your food, mm -hmm. and I always thought it was wrong, blood. but I so completely with you. I think you. you're 100%. You look at the way the country is being... So, as we have agreed to this now, I'm going to ask you about a verse in the, in the Bible, 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 3 now go and attack Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have and do not spare them but kill both man and woman infant and nursing child ox and sheep camel and donkey that was God saying that oh, I was just asking you like I'm not no no, no, no I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you either I was just showing you so you can read it in the Bible yourself Mm -hmm. And you, you, this is your the King I mean, James version. Yeah, God can destroy anything. I mean, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm so sorry. Let, let me, let me just take a step back now. We just agreed that God does not call for killing of infant children and animals, and then we see a verse here to kill infant. I'm sorry. It wouldn't be called killing. Yeah, it, it says, but kill. Well, yeah, but God can't kill. He's ordering. Amulek to be destroyed and killed. So God is ordering the killing of infant children and nursing children. Right. Read the verse, please. Yeah, I understand, I understand what you're saying, but you, so, but you you're, you're ignoring it. No, no, I, I'm not ignoring the verse. I, I mean, I clearly okay. what you said, but you have, right. to, have you read this before? Yes, I have, but but you have to understand. It didn't like, bother you? No, not at all. Okay. It, well, it doesn't bother me that a creator, the one who gives life, uh -huh. can choose to take it whenever he so pleases. So, so, so if God it. orders you, can, can I can I just finish with him, please? Yeah. If God orders you tomorrow to go and kill a bunch of infant children, you would do it? 
No, really? No, no, no. I'm kind of no, worried. Wait, no, you, we have a yes. We have a yes and a no. no. So which one is no, no. it? Because if I if I do it, if <laughs> it's I, right there. If I if I do it, uh -huh. if I murder another human, yes. a human murdering another human, that, yes. that is murder. That is killing. But here God is not doing it through some divine wrath, but calling it. Different way though, because okay. it says that say the Lord hopes. I will punish Amalek. Amalek for what he did to Israel. So okay. he's punishing somebody. So yes. we can't, we can't so, tell so, him so, what so, to do. So, no, no, we, we don't tell, we don't tell. But so God punishing kill, Amalek by ordering that their children and nursing children and ox and sheep be slaughtered. Do you believe that's a just God? Yes. Wow, and, and you, you believe that as well? I really do. I'm sorry, say, say that one more time. So if I God really if God told you, yeah. That, that the people of San Diego have, have become corrupt and we have all this LGBT stuff. Go and massacre everybody, little babies that are nursing, little pregnant women, stab them and rip them out. You would do it. Right now, I can't, and he wouldn't Would you? That. But, but I mean, if, if, but if this kind of a verse, you would think that's a just God. Yeah, I mean, what am I I think that's do? horrible. I don't, I don't believe in a God like that. I do. That's, okay. that's from that's, the human that's standard, okay. though. No, no, that's, yeah, that's not a human standard. That's from the Quran standard. Right. The Quran does not call for the massacre of people that are, even in, in, in a time of battle, we're, we're told to spare the children, the women who are not fighting, old elderly uh -huh. animals, because in Islam, we don't believe that's a just God that because of Amulek's issue with Israel, he would order infant children, nothing to do with that child himself. He's a nursing baby, nothing about his future or past or anything he did to be massacred, ox and sheep to be killed indiscriminately. I don't believe that's just. Okay, so to me, it seems like God is punishing some kind of town or something. Because right? I honestly didn't hey, but, read but, that, but, and but, I don't remember. Okay, it. excellent. So this but, is—I like your honesty. Yeah. Okay. But let so, me finish. So go ahead. If, if that's the case, and He's punishing the town, okay. and He told me to go kill, you know, the people, I would do it because I'm—I have an order from God. Upstairs, so, from God. Right? So you feel that's just? He, I would. Okay, so you wouldn't question it. Do you think it? with uh -huh. our three-pound brain, we'll mm -hmm. understand God? Because if we can understand Him, there's no point of being. So, so the issue here you is, the issue here is that this Bible that you are basing your belief on has obviously been tampered. Okay, let me, let me, let me give you examples, okay? And, and I'm here with references from the Bible and I'm not putting you on the spot. If you want to go home no, I, and look I, it up, okay. <laughs> okay. So, no, I mean, I, I respect the way you are having this conversation and I want to make sure I keep myself also um, in, in a respectful manner, okay? So... In this Bible, it says, if a, and if a man beats his male or female servant with a rod so that he dies under his hand, he shall surely be punished. Notwithstanding, if he remains alive a day or two, he shall not be punished for he is his property. Do you, do you believe this is Jesus, a just God? Okay, so well, you have to read the whole entire. Okay, please go ahead. I, 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 I did, but this is about is slaves. That, you know this is mean? about the rulings and slaves. If you beat your slave, and they live a day, and then die from your beating, there's no punishment for you because it's your property. That's in the Bible. Gosh. I know it's pretty this rough. Conversation before with somebody else. Okay, and what, what was the, the, the Old Testament is that's, excellent. It doesn't, doesn't apply to. So, so, but but you said Jesus was there, the same God in the Old Testament. It's not a different God, right? No, no, no yes. Okay, so so you believe in the God that ordered this? Yes. And Jesus was that yes. because you said he was there. Yes. So Jesus ordered that you, if you beat your slave, and you beat him so bad that he lives a day, you will not be punished because that person is your property. I can't answer for that if I don't know what the heck that. Oh, but you said you've read it. You said you had the conversation about this already. Yeah, about slaves, because people say that. Okay, the beating the slaves in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. So you have read it. You, you know to, about it. You have to like read the whole story. I did. I did. But, but I, I want to understand. What is that story about? It's about the rulings that they had in the Old Testament in Exodus about people who had slaves. What would happen to them if they beat their slaves? I want to if, read it. Go ahead, please. Oh, by the way, I found the. Uh, Excellent. There you go. Okay. I guess this is the verse in the Quran. Okay, so let's look it up. Yeah. If you don't, can I use this one or do? I? Well, whichever, whichever. whichever. Man, okay. You can use so what's the Quran Surah four? Okay, excellent. And then it says, uh, yeah, 157 through 158, I believe. Excellent. And for their saying, indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of, of Mary, the messenger of Allah, and they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but there was made to resemble him for them and indeed those who differ over it are in doubt about it they have no knowledge of it except for the following assumption that they did not kill him for certain rather Allah raised him to himself and ever is Allah exalted the Almighty and wise so I'm sorry where's the lying and 
So it literally, it literally says uh -huh. that that they killed somebody who it says, they it thought. It says that it says that they said that they killed the Messiah Jesus, the right. son of the messenger. Allah. But they did not. And in, but in reality, and they did not. Right. Nor did they crucify him. Yes. But it was but there was somebody made to resemble him. Yes, yeah, sure. And indeed, those who differ are were made are to doubt, doubt about it. Yeah. So where is the line? So. It, because it said, because the lie is that the lie is that Jesus. No, no, no. Didn't I'm, die. Sorry, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, so, so Jesus did die. You're saying yes. that's a lie. Yes, he did. But but can you prove to me that that sure, Jesus you died? Can, you can just look through historical. I did. I did. Th there is no actual eyewitness historical account. There's 500 even, actually. 500 I'm sorry. Let me accounts. let me yeah. let me finish. Mm -hmm. Can you name any one of them? No, like I don't a know person. The people. I don't okay. Know, I don't know the person. <laughs> so, so you were not there exactly. So so how can you? So, so the fact, there is no lying in this verse. The only reason you're saying there's a lie is because you're claiming Jesus did die on the cross and this is saying that Jesus did not. Is right. that correct? Right. Okay. We're not so now, really claiming it's written in the Bible. Well, it's written in history, but <laughs> like... Okay, like can, we, you, can you tell... No, 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 wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You can actually, well, I know. You can actually I've, go I've, the history. I've itself. researched this, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. So have I, there is no, Okay, if you have, can you name for me, not today, go home, yeah. look it up, a single person who was an eyewitness. Sticker, oh, I can take the sticker off. Okay, okay, go ahead. So you can keep it, but I'll take a sure. picture of it and I'll read it. And so I'll now when you go home and you look up those 500 reports you told me, yeah. come back next Sunday and just name one person who you know as a person, like a name, who was physically present in a first-hand report of citing this, reported it. Mary. Okay, the Mary, where, 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 is, where is the evidence, historic John? evidence? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not, that's from the Bible, there. right? Uh -huh. that, that's not a historic book, you said it's a religious text, it is right? A, it is okay, a historic okay. book. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, okay, calm, sorry, I calm down. Yes, go ahead. I mean, we, we believe in the Bible, we believe in I understand that. So our knowledge is going to be based on the Excellent, so this is, this is, this is where the problem gets to be, is you're saying that the Quran is wrong because the Bible says something different. Well, well, that's not a historical documentation. Actually, you can't. You no, can, no, can no, I finish? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I was so, just saying because you said I, that I think okay, the Quran I'm, I'm is wrong. But I, I didn't say the Quran. Okay, is but you wrong. said the Quran says that Allah lied, right? Right. But th that's not true well, because it has, it has here some fallacies for sure. But it, I actually believe that the Quran validates what the, what the Bible says. Okay. So let me explain this again. Yeah. The, the lie that you are saying is not in the Quran. It is in your understanding of what happened to Jesus. And you're saying the Bible's account is a historic account. Now, I don't know if you've gone to universities or college or so on, any history class that you're gonna, not from a religious point of view, from a historic point of view, you cannot take the Bible as evidence because there is no chain of narrations. There is no verification. It's a historic document. That's the earliest words were in Koine Greek. They weren't even in the language of Aramaic, okay? So if you're saying Mary said, you don't even have her words because the earliest scriptures are in a different language, okay? Now, let me ask you, because if you say the Bible is the criterion from right and wrong and historic, I'm gonna ask you a couple of verses. Jehoiachin was 18 years old when he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem for three months. How old was he? Who? Jehoiachin. This is 18 years. 18, 18 years excellent. Old. What, what is the second James? Yeah. Or second Kings, I'm sorry. Chapter 24, verse eight, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in the same Bible, if we go to second Chronicles 36, nine, Jehoiachin, same the person, was eight years old when he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem for three months and 10 days. So was he oh, eight I'm years so old? Sorry. It's okay. Was he eight years old or 18 years old? I haven't read that. I'm not getting like no. so. I'll okay, so let me show you another one so you can look it up before you come back. Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. How old was he? 22. 22, 22. excellent. In the same Bible, Second Chronicles, Isaiah was 42 years old when he became king and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. Same one year Jerusalem, same mother Athaliah, daughter of Umri, but one says 22, one says 42. So don't you think that's a clear numeric contradiction? Well, I can't really take your... This idea. is your Bible, but, not mine. Yeah, but I haven't read it, so okay. I can't say, okay, okay that's can, true. Can you go home and take a look at it, please? Yeah, of course. I definitely Excellent. Will as well, yeah, because yeah, I, I, I don't remember reading that. Do you want to write the references or... I'll take a picture. Take it, yeah. please. Well, it's Chronicles and Kings, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, let me just show you the exact, so that you yeah, can take a, take a picture. picture that. Excellent. So this is this is for Isaiah being 42, and here is for Isaiah being 22. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do the other one too, just so you can have can some. Can I say one thing? Real please, quick? please, go ahead. Um, you know the tomb of Jesus Christ when he rose from the dead, it's still there. Really, but again, the problem is, 
the fact that he rose from the death. So, I mean, like, like in Pakistan, in, in a place called Kashmir, they have a tomb for Jesus, which obviously is not Jesus' tomb because I don't know how you would get to Kashmir, right? But just the tomb being there is not a historic evidence I mean, from rising you, from the red. That, then we don't know if George Washington was here. I'm with we you on that one. I'm with you. I'm with uh, you. So, so excellent. So that, that's, that's a great, I, I love the fact that you critically think. The fact that Muhammad, peace be upon him, was there has been documented by eyewitnesses. I can name them to Abu Huraira, Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman, and they reported it to others like Al-Qama, Mujahid, Ata, so oh, on. Wait, yeah. I'm sorry. Ahead, so no, so, so yeah, that chain, yeah. that chain from that time was historic, not religious, not the Quran, not but historic, what's called Ilm al-Rijal, like the books would document biographies put at least 10,000, there's a book called Al-Isaba, 10,000 biographies of the companions that we know and who they reported to. Then we have Ilm al-Rijal, the books that, that document who they studied from. So we can give you historic names of who actually saw the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We believe there was a Jesus, that's not the issue. But the issue gets to be the accounts of what happened contradict each other. And I'll give you another example. For example, Matthew saw him sure. when he rose from the dead. John saw him. Sure. Who, who's oh. Matthew? The Matthew. author in, of the book here? Yeah, the Matthew. Is this Apostle? One of the Apostles. Yeah. yeah, so this is where I think your research is lacking, if you don't mind. I mean, there's no, no offense. I mean, uh, I, I mean this with respect. Not, like, Excellent. Expect, when you go home, like, yeah, when you go home, but, yeah. whether you go to a library, whether you go to a, find out who was the author of Matthew. Okay. We the, know we know for the, sure it wasn't Saul, actual. It was Saul, I believe. Okay, so so then now now the problem is that you just said Matthew wrote this, but actually it wasn't, right? In fact, most of these historically were in 70 years after the time of Jesus. Peace be upon him. Look it up. I mean, don't take my word for it. You, you're intelligent young people. You're, you're, you're obviously seeking the truth. I wish the best for you. I want you to critically think, not just look okay, at blindly. If you look at Judas, what happened to Judas? We have here in Acts. 1 18 now this man judas purchased a field with his wages that he had earned from betraying jesus of inequity Wait. and falling go ahead sorry i'm sorry judas uh -huh. returned the money that he got okay so th this is exactly the point that is a contradiction so here he fell headlong and burst open the middle of his and his entrails gushed out okay the same judas in the same new testament here if we find now in matthew then he threw down the pieces of silver in the temple, as you had said, departed and went and hung, hung himself. So you see, there's two different accounts of what happened to Judas. One, that he took that money, bought a piece of land and fell in it and his guts spilt out. And the other, that he threw that money back and hung himself. And that's two different so, people that said that, correct? Like yes. one person saying this and another person said yes. the other thing. Yes, excellent. So yeah, this okay. means this is not the word of God. This is people's accounts that can differ and have errors. Uh -huh. We agree that well, this is not the word of God. This is people's account no, that can have errors. It is it's the not, word of God. Okay, but yeah. People wrote it. Well, I have one okay, thing so, to say. Okay. So, about are that. there errors though? Because one, it has to be one or the other, right? He can, it couldn't be. Errors. But there's but there's you no, just like, saw it. Are you familiar listen, with is... with like uh, just mm -hmm. in, in general like court and just criminal justice and yes. And, okay. So, so, so let so, me so let me just answer that if you don't mind. Okay. In court, there are people who bear witness. Right. And those. Yes, but well, you don't have to be in the video if you it's, don't want. It can just be me. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's no big deal. we'll blur you out. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Thank so, so now the issue is in court, people testify, right. not God, and those people have mistakes. Uh -huh. Somebody will be right, somebody will be wrong. So, if you're saying that this is the testimony like people in court, then this is not the word of God. This has errors because people error. When two people testify, one says he did it, and one says he didn't. One of them has to be right. So either Judas as you said, threw the money back and hung himself, or he kept the money, bought land, and fell, and his guts fell out. It can't be both. So one of them is wrong. So this means this that you're making the criteria for right and wrong definitely has errors. You see it, please, come on. Honestly, I can't. Be honest with me. Just be honest. I don't, I don't, I don't see, I don't okay. see yeah. both. I don't even see if, even if it was four different perspectives saying okay. that Judas happened. Different. Some of them are wrong, right? Well, obviously, yeah. There's, okay, there, thank there you. There has to be only so, one thing that happened to Judas. Excellent, yes. thank you. You but are such the, a good but, person yes, for but, admitting but that. But at the same time, but at the same <laughs> time, I'm serious, because most people don't yeah, admit it. Yeah, at the same time, in a criminal court system, excellent. Whenever the, whenever there's an interrogation yes. taking place, yes. If all of the witnesses have the exact same story, that's actually right. suspect. I agree with so you. So it makes more sense that they all have a different account and a different yeah. perspective of good. what happened. 
I'm that, with you. That makes the story more, more, yeah. more okay. reliable. And now, more, now the, more the difference is uh -huh. those people's testimony is not the word of God. Some of those people are lying. Some of those people are wrong. Some are mistaken. I don't think that Some, it's wrong. I'm sorry. It's, let, right. me, let me finish. I'll let you finish, yeah, yeah, right? Go, yeah, go ahead. Whether they're lying on purpose or an accident, but the testimony of those people cannot all be taken to be 100% correct because there's a contradiction between them. Right. So one of them or some of them are going to be right and some are going to be wrong. Right. If you use the same logic, that means some of the Bible is wrong because obviously it's the perspectives that contradict the other and some is right. That means this is not 100% correct because you have just admitted to the fact that they're but the testimonies of people. Can, can, I, can I just finish yeah, my yeah. sentence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're saying this is, the, this is the opinions of people and the testimony of people like in court, mm -hmm. then those people in court could be wrong mm -hmm. as they have to be because it can't be both. So some parts of this Bible is the opinions of people that is error. We agree on that now. Yes. Thank you. Because he agreed are, at least. Pe people, people are, are people. They people make mistakes. People, exactly. I, but you have